So Tommy, that is a draw to end the season. Uh, I guess, well, we spoke about it before and you say I ask you all the time, but I guess that is your unbeaten record for the end of the season intact. Yeah, it is. Um, it's a tinge of disappointment because we conceded late on and I don't think it was a, a goal if the same action was were played again that it would have gone in our net. But then I could say the same about ours. I thought we were excellent first half. The lads really were trying to do something a slight, slightly different against a good possession side. I've got to say, Phil's got them playing some really good football. Um, so we worked really hard to, I think, dominate the first half. And um, we didn't get the breakthrough. I was always wary that they were going to change slightly, which they did. Um, and we actually scored, I thought, against the runner player. But look, again, I, as I mentioned in another interview, the remit I had when I got into the club was to, to make sh ensure our survival in the, in the National League with six games. And the lads have responded fantastically, N not just the players who've played their part on the pitch that everybody sees, but every single one of the players, contracted, non-contracted, the loan lads, the backroom staff, they've all been really positive and they've, and they've, they've, they've just given what they've got. And I, and I think that the people who are older shot will be grateful for that because they, they were on a slide, I knew that, um, and it wasn't an easy task. And I don't think people would have thought we'd have needed nine or ten points or whatever it is we've got, um, but that's what was needed. Well, as you say there, you know, you came in with that very important short-term look at mm. things. Now you can maybe sit back and, and plan this summer um, with a long-term aspect on things. Absolutely. I mean, whether people know or don't know, I've, I have a history in recruitment, so I know what recruitment's all about. It's a fluid thing. It's not something, you know, you just can't look in a magazine and pick out who you want. It's not like buying a bit of furniture for your bedroom. So, listen, that, that process started a long time ago, even if I wasn't at this football club, because I have to have a knowledge and a, an awareness of what and who and what may be available come the summer, depending on what level of the game I'm managing or recruiting at. So from that point of view, like I said, I've got a broad knowledge of, of people that I would like to come to the football club. Some of them will uh, probably be, could, could possibly still be playing you know, themselves either in the football league or in a playoff situation uh, elsewhere. But. There'll, there'll be changes, undoubtedly it happens at every football match, uh, for every football club, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm going to enjoy a week or two um, away from away from it and let myself recharge. But the recruitment side of things and the retaining side of things um, started day before yesterday, really. Well, we were backed, weren't we, by a really good crowd yeah. again this week. There's, there's, in the three home games you've had, there's been really good crowds and, and we've seen a bit of an increase. So I guess we hope that continues into next season, doesn't it? Uh, very much so. I mean. There hasn't been a lot of away fans in the in the games that we've played, so they have been the vast majority have been shots. So from that point of view, that's really encouraging to me. I think the town want to support the football club, and they'll come out in their numbers if they get if they're getting their brand of football that they can associate with. And under me, as you can hear from my voice, I play the game from the from the technical area. I demand a lot from people individually, but I demand more of the group, whether they're on the pitch or they're sitting behind me. People who sit close to the dugout, I have to apologise it's sometimes for my choice choices of words but you know I, I can't I can't do it any other way that's the way I, I do it so I want to win in mentality right through the football club and that, that includes the fans who I know want to win football matches well that's it isn't it you know you say about that you're, you're a passionate guy and, and you've, you've tried to put that into the players mm -hmm. do you think you've seen that so far in, in the six games you've had and you've put, pushing that into those players well yeah but I mean like I said because my voice is like this after every game it, it's telling me I'm having to work too hard verbally at the side of the pitch but um, look a style of football isn't created in a day, it's it's something you have to plan from now, you have to know what players you want who can fulfil the roles I want in the in the group and then you need to condition them physically to be able to play that game on a Tuesday and a Saturday, 46, 56 games possibly in a season. You know, How many of these players have actually played 40 games? It's not many. They have been rotated all season and I don't know if that's because of tactics or because of fitness or because of conditioning or because of injury, I don't know. But what I do know is there's not enough people played enough games. So. Again, I mentioned I'm, I'm probably harping on a bit about it, but it's really difficult to get out of my team if you're doing the job. But it's very easy to get out of the club if you're not doing what I'm asking you. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.